DC here, hi guys and gals. Sunday morning. Hmm. First cup of coffee is kind of nice. It is nice and cool right now. It's 17 degrees Celsius. So what is that? What is 17 degrees Celsius in the Fahrenheit? It's 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. So you see, that's just nice. And uh, enjoying it because it's going to go up to, well, it's not going to be so hot today. It's going to be all, going up to 26. Yesterday was a scorcher. It was over 30. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just uncomfortable. Uh, but uh, we had the, we had the kids over as usual with the grandkids and had a birthday party, so to say. I shouldn't say party, it's a birthday meal <clears throat> with my second son. It was nice. And uh, the grandkids, I put out the, the kiddie pool, <clears throat> but they've, <clears throat> goodness sakes, I've morning cough, old men. Uh, and uh, put out the kiddie pool and the last period they've been not as nice in the pool what I mean by that is that they we, we've got yeah we've got quite a big grounds and they love playing with their their dump trucks and stuff like that and they, they gather dirt stuff like that and they decided that it's really nice when the pool is like a muddy color so they bring their dirt and they throw it into the pool and oh, try and stop them. They always find a way around. So, I mean, you know, the water becomes actually very disgusting. And then my grandson asks me, he says, Grandpa, you know, you want to come to the pool with us? And I thought, no, no. You know, because sometimes I'd go and, uh, especially at this, you know, when it's really warm, I wouldn't mind like sitting down in the pool myself. You know, like I say, it's the kiddie pool, but uh, yeah, not in that dirty, yucky water. Anyway, yeah, it was, it was amusing. <clears throat> the last few weeks has been kind of interesting because, on the one hand, you know, we get the contact with the, with the younger generation, so the grandkids, you know, children that are less than ten years old, and. Um, well, actually, yeah, very young, you know, preschool still. Uh, pre, no, I couldn't say school starts so early now. Uh, when I was a kid, I mean, there was no kindergarten, didn't exist. Now, I mean, they start school in kindergarten and stuff like that really young. But anyway, what I was meaning is that <clears throat> then you got my own, my own children who are, well, <laughs> they're in their 30s now, you know, uh, the second son of DC was 33, just turned 33. And uh, my eldest son will be 35 uh, in September. So, you know, they're, they're not kids anymore. And I was noticing that like when I was finishing my, well, my job uh, just before retirement, all the younger people that we hired were like uh, 10 years younger than my own children. And you could see that it was another generation already. It was quite interesting. You know, you, at, at times, uh, when I would work her with uh, younger people, they would be of a similar generation to my own children. And it was kind of easy to relate because I knew exactly uh, or pretty much how, how they would react. It's not the same. Uh, each generation is different. I mean, we all know that. Uh, I'm part of the boomers. I mean, we are uh, the horrible white men that have destroyed the planet, everything. You know, you, you get the script, don't you? Uh, and now, I mean, there's this generation of saviors, which is kind of amusing because when we were their age, so were we. You know? <laughs> Every time you get around those ages, I mean, you're going to change and save the world. And uh, I'm almost, I won't be there to see it, but I was going to say, I'm almost looking forward for them to be around their 60s and realize that they're the horrible people that we are now. Yeah. 
But having said that, we met a lot of people and uh, twice, twice we met people that we knew when they were in their late 50s, early 60s and are now in their, in their 80s. And I was looking at them, I was thinking like, wow, I remember seeing them just when they were like in their 60s and that's where I am now. And it's kind of looking to the future and I can't say I really like it all that much. <laughs> no, because uh, they, you know, some of them have aged and not actually, not so good. You know, they, they struggle a lot. I mean, age gets them, you know. Well, I mean, you just have to look at the, I was going to say the leader of the free world and see, I mean, how age is grabbed up to him, I mean, and so on. But I won't get into the politics decision. But, um, discussion, I mean. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's it was something that I was noticing. Uh, we were with another couple also that are contemporaries to us. And, um, yeah, I mean, we both looking at each other, we kind of smiled the other day and said, we've all aged, haven't we? Because we were at... Uh, a graduation ceremony and of the youngest one who was an accident <laughs> and uh, uh we were all just looking at that and say that yeah he, he's a he's a strapping young man uh we were one time weren't we <laughs> oh it's an amusing thing hmm. it is because you kind of look at life and you say wow uh, things Things evolve, and at the same time, things are quite a bit the same. You know, there was there was a lot of discussions, you know, about environmental stuff, and even when I was young, and uh, there always was. You know, it was the beginning of Greenpeace, which has now become I won't even say what I think of Greenpeace now, but I mean it's at the time there was just so much that was going on, and we thought, you know, how how much we were trailblazers. And I, I look at the, like I say, the younger generation, I'm repeating myself, but they have the same zeal. And that, that, that is actually quite nice because imagine if nobody had any zeal, well, we'd die out, wouldn't we? Probably a lot of people would say it would be a nice thing, wouldn't it? Over here, there's a big, over here meaning in Switzerland, you know, the younger, generation right now are very very much into uh, <sighs> it's not even really cancel culture but it's a uh, uh, change culture and it's I got into a discussion the other day one of my uh, one of the ladies that I my son knew and I've known since she was a young teenager she she's become a vegan and we had a an interesting discussion on on that because uh, and it wasn't a confrontational discussion but I was talking about processed food because uh, these are the people before the person became a vegan was you know going on how you know uh, really eating against eating processed food against this and that and uh, uh, doing your own recipes and so on I, I was completely in agreement with most of what she was saying but now it's kind of amusing because now that she's into veganism, a lot of the food is actually ultra processed as well. And I, I mentioned that and, <laughs> and it was like, yeah, but we can't just eat salad. I mean, it was kind of like that type of discussion, but, uh, and thinking like, okay, you know, sometimes when the shoes on the other foot, you know, I guess you know what I mean. It's just amusing. I, I, like I say, I'm coming back to what I'm seeing. It's, it's like we always say history repeats itself. And I guess people, that's why, I, you know, the elderly, they sometimes look at things and they say, oh, we've gone through that. But everybody's got to live their own experiences. I mean, you can't live, you can't live someone else's life. I think that's probably the main message, isn't it? You can't live someone else's life. But you can certainly look at what's going on and say, I've been there, done that. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm going to finish my coffee inside. I, oh yeah, got to slowly get ready. I'm going to go off to church later on. And uh, I think, I hope it'll be a relaxing Sunday. 
yeah okay 10 minutes so i'm gonna sign off bc signing off everybody take care bye bye